All right, here we are with uh, the semifinals of the uh, IPA. We're going up against Geek Yogurt and the Toronto Maple Leafions. He's got a team of Top of Lele, Glyscore, Rabambi, Chandelor, Drapion, Rotom Frost, Mega Glade, Superior, Skarmory, Milotic, and Kangaskhan. Last time, I, last time I think we got like four would um, bulk up. Bulk up Mega Glade really, really did a number on us, and I just forgot that Intimidate didn't didn't hit Mega Glade because it's got inner focus. So. That's something to keep in mind, um, but uh, with that being said, I mean, I still don't think we have too good of a matchup, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, is this on here? Okay, there it is. Yeah, so let's just go through the team. Um, I've got Double Dance Landers with Rock Intense so that I can hit Skarmory with Rock Side a little bit better. So the idea is to try to set up, because um, once I'm at plus two, plus two, I'm, I'm in a pretty good spot to sweep. Um, I've got the adamant nature because I mean the, the speed can outspeed. I believe just a scarfed, uh, timid scarf lele. Um, once I'm at plus two, I can outspeed that. He's not gonna bring scarf superior. There's no way. Um, I don't even think he brings superior. Period. So earthquake hits everything uh, except for Gliscor and Skarmory, and then hopefully Gliscor isn't carrying like Ice Fang, and then we can just uh, rock side that like twice and, and deal with it. So yeah, this is our secondary, this is not our win con, but it's our secondary kind of win con if the other one doesn't work, so, um, yeah. Next up is going to be Marowak. Rocking the Flare Blitz, uh, Poltergeist, Flame Charge, and Shadow Bone. So, the thing, this mod died last time to a Skarmory, the Rocky Helmet Skarmory really screwed us up, and I don't want that happening again. Um, probably will happen again, but, you know. It is what it is. Um, I, with the flame charge, I can try to set up on Skarmory. I don't take any damage from Flare Bliss because I have Rockhead, um, so that's good. And I can just kind of, you know, flame charge and and do hopefully a lot of damage to the Skarmory enough to where I can. If I'm at like, I don't have a lot of speed. I have just enough speed to outspeed something at plus one, maybe. I think Milotic. If a good amount of Mons are. Uh, Kind of whittled on his end and i'm at like plus three i might just be able to sweep um so we'll look we'll look for that uh key thing is i'd have to whittle out i'd have to whittle down the uh glide score a little bit i have to whittle down the mylotic uh, rabombi's probably going to be sashed but that's not too big of a problem because it can't do much back to me uh, except for like psychic i guess uh, so yeah that's that's the marowak um <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, just try to fl fl uh, flame charge on things. This man, this mod has been going on a kind of a tear lately, so hopefully it can do some. Uh, we have Fizdef Kayak, our uh, Amoongus. Now, I'm Fizdef. Uh, I not really for Galate, obviously, because I'm a poison type. I do have the Pyopa Berry to take a one poison type attack. Hopefully, I can put that mod to sleep uh, or clear smog it if I have to. I think I'd spore anyway, and then clear smog because. Either way, he'd have to switch. If not, he's gonna he might die if I go for Spore. Anyway, um, yeah, just clear my. It's also great for Robombi because he likes to quiver dance with Robombi. So I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen. He does have he he might bring Psychic, which is also why the Pyopa Berry is nice. Um, also, Lele might try to Psychic me if it, if it's setting up. Maybe I can take one. I probably I actually doubt it that I can take one, but maybe I can and I can go for Clear Smog or, or Spore or whatever, what have you. Uh, this command's great for superior. I can also clear smoke on that. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I think I can deal with Milotic pretty well uh, with the Giga Train. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it with that. Next up, we have our actual win con, which is the Top of Finny. Fizz Def, uh, Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Draining Kits, Store Power. I might change Iron Defense to Taunt. I'm not too sure yet. But basically, if I can set up with this mod, um, I actually didn't know this set was allowed. Like I thought that uh, Crown Tundra allowed these moves, but it's not. It, I mean, these these its moves have been allowed for a while. It's just that Finny hasn't been in the like Sword and Shield game, um, as as have most of the legendaries. So that's why it's it's now allowed, I guess. Um, so I might change Iron Defense to Taunt because the only two real stops to this mod once it starts rolling is going to be Whirlwind, Skarmory, and Haze Milotic. So if I can taunt those two mods, I will outspeed them, outspeed them naturally. If I can taunt them, I'll be able to stop that, and then I'll just keep setting up and, and do that. Like, 
it's fizzed up right now. I might change the EVs around a little bit. Um, I'm battling in a little over an hour. Um, so I might, I might be doing that, but uh, who knows? Or I'm gonna think about this one more a little bit because I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure. Um, next up we have New Era. We have Choice Carpenter, Aladon. I feel like bringing Dura Aladon, I, I haven't even brought it yet. I was gonna bring it actually against this team before they made the uh, the free, uh, free agent transactions. Like it had like a C had like a sand team, and I'm like, that's cool. I can I can just iron defense and then body press, kind of deal with that. But then the sand team's gone, so I'm like, okay, let me not bring this mod anymore. But this time I'm just bringing a scarf, a scarf form uh, with the stealth rocks because that would be great. I can outspeed uh, Chandelure, and I can outspeed a modest scarfed Lele. That's what this is for, this speed. So hopefully if he is Scarf, but he's modest, I'll be able to outspeed him, hit him, hit him with that uh, flash cannon, do a lot of damage. We're also pretty bulky on the physical side, so maybe we can take a few physical hits, uh, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I mean, if Glade's low enough, I believe I do like 70% to him, 75% to him, with no bulk, so um, hopefully he, he won't have that much bulk, and we'll be able to hit him pretty hard with this, with this mod, with Draco. Um, but then he will know where Scar, so it kind of gives him a free switch to Lele. Um, only thing, if he starts setting up with Lele, that's going to be a problem, but uh, hopefully he does not try to do that, because that would suck. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt for Skarmory and Milotic. And that's about it. Uh, no no Minextry this time, because I just felt like it didn't work out last time, and you know, like even if I... Ugh. I don't know, I think he, he definitely has answers. It's just not... Minextry is just not strong enough, so... There's that. And last but not least, we have Assault Vest, Mr. Rhyme, because I needed a spinner in case he brings still, uh, sticky webs on Robombi. That could really suck. Or uh, Finny, like, for example, if I do bring Taunt and he slows it and he slows it down my Finny, then Skarmory, uh, well, actually, War 1's negative priority, but Milotic will outspeed me and it can, it can haze, so that would suck. Um, it's also annoying for, uh, for Duraladon if it's scarfed. Then it's basically nullifies the scarf. Uh, the noise Marowak. If I'm trying to set up speed with flare, flame, flame charge. Um, so yeah, that's that's about. It. I I can switch into Lele decently if he goes for Psychic, uh, or like Moonblast. Actually, if he goes for Moonblast, I'll probably do like just as much as Psychic because of the Psychic terrain. Because um, I'm Assault Vest, I got decent special defense. Um, that's okay. Freeze Dry is great for my Lodic. Thunderbolt or with Skarmory. Shadow Ball is nice for Lele and uh, Glade. I didn't really feel like uh, I needed much else, so yeah, that's that. Um, that's the team. Oh, it's also nice for Superior, I guess, if he brings it. Uh, nice for Rotom Frost if it wants to Blizzard around my team. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Uh, again, I might change it up a little bit. I don't know. But uh, I'm not very op optimistic about this battle. This matchup, I, I don't like too much. But we'll see how it goes, and um, yeah, that's that's about it. So I'll cut to the battle here. I'll let you know if I made any changes, and um, I'll see you guys there. All right, here we are with the battle. Um, as you can see, he brought uh, a few different things that I wasn't expecting. Didn't really prep much for the Drapion. I mean, I do have a Moongus there, which I guess can kind of deal with it, but if it starts setting up, that's kind of a problem, because if I can't spore it at least... Um, yeah, we see the superior, which is a little bit annoying. Um, no Lele, which is cool. So, only two things he brought this time, but not last time, is the Drapion and Superior instead of Lele and Gliscorp. So, uh, let's just get right into this. I led with Alola Whack, just because it's kind of a decent lead against his team. Um, as long as he doesn't leave Milotic, which I don't know why you lead Milotic. I kind of thought he'd bring he'd lead a uh, Rabombi because it sets up sticky webs. Um, if he is that kind of thing, so he goes for the stun spore as I go for the shadow, or I get fully paralyzed and then he gets his sticky webs up as I shadow bone. And now I'm going to do it again. So uh, he reveals to be the key berry, which is nice tech because now I can't poltergeist him. So that's a little bit annoying, but uh, at the same time, whenever he when when he uh, switches out, that that uh, defense buff is going to go away. So, um, but yeah, I got to remember not to poltergeist. So. He brings he hypnosis is on my Amoongus and then he brings in Galate. I'm like, well, I'm about to get swept, but he just goes for Zen Headbutt, which is fine. Um, I have a Piapa Berry, so I take it. I I mean I don't take it well, but I take it a little bit. I was hoping maybe I could live this if 
if I can get like a max and then a min roll, or if I can get like a really min roll there, I might be able to live and spore him, but it did not happen. I'm going to do a Mar Marowak because I don't think he's going to want to risk dying. Um, go for the Shadow Bone, does a good amount. Now, if I just Flare Blitz there, that Drapion's gone, and um, that would be huge, but uh, he doesn't. So I get a crit, or he gets a crit with the Night Slash. Um, so obviously he's going to be like the scope, scope Lens Sniper set. I got for Swords Dance expecting the Skarmory because I was like, okay, this is just not going well. I might as well just try to do something as that's not uh, what happens <laughs> as I'm going to, going, go, going to go into a little whack and he goes for the Leech Seed and I'm going to go for the Shadow Bone and that is not good. I was hoping that he would switch. Shadow Bone is not a con contact move though, which is interesting because you're going to see here I go for the Flare Blitz and uh, as he leaves Storms does a lot of damage. And he's going to get knocked out, but he has the Rocky Helmet, which is interesting. So, I'm um, paralyzed. There's no reason to keep this spawn around. I'm just going to let him go. Um, as the Night Slash uh, takes me out there. And at this point, I got to bring in Duraludon. I went for... I'm Scarf, right? I go for Thunderbolt here, expecting him to switch. But he just goes for Earthquake and gets the crit. So, uh, that's going to knock me out. Definitely needed the crit to survive to take me out there, but... I went for Thunderbolt, so it wasn't going to kill anyway. Maybe I get a para. Um, so I guess for Cross Poison does not do as much as I thought because, um, I don't know, just I thought it would do more. Well, I was expecting it to Oko because of the crit sniper thing, but it uh, didn't. And then he goes for the Cross Poison there and gets a crit. Uh, so now I'm now I'm officially done. Uh, so the Finny thing did not work at all out at all. I did change Iron Defense to, to Taunt at the last second. It wouldn't have mattered because crits go through uh, Iron Defense. Um, so that's, that's the game, 5-0, real quick, 18 turns, did not go well for me at all, um, just didn't prep for Drapion, really at all, I mean, I, I had Amoongus there, but even Amoongus can just get set up on if he does bring that, um, and I had Landers, I shouldn't have switched into Landers, I should have just, honestly, just let Alolawak go down, or, or let, I don't know, something else go down, Sticky Webs wasn't really a big deal, I just didn't want him on the field, that's why I was keeping Mr. Rhyme around, because, I wanted to try to maybe get a, an opportunity to stick the rapid spin, and then my Finny wouldn't out, get outsped by the by the hazing uh, Milotic, which we don't even know if it had haze. So um, that's gonna be a good game. Sad ending to the season. We did make semifinals after everything, so I'm not too disappointed after starting 0-3. Um, that's that's okay, but uh, yeah, just a little bit unfortunate as as to how this panned out. So. We'll be looking forward to uh, season three. It's gonna be. It, it's actually already. The name has changed. It's Sky Sky Spiller. No, Sky Pillar Stadium, is the new name of the IPA. So new new face. To this, and I'm, I I really like what uh, what's going on in the server and what's going on with the leagues. Very very solid. Um, great leader. Uh, great commissioner, if you want to say that. Shout out to Ball Hawk. Um, so yeah, definitely excited for week or season three. I'm also doing a new league that I believe, uh, yeah, drafts today. I actually forgot. <laughs> I'm drafting today. Um, that's going to be the IGL, so season seven. So that's definitely a successful league. Uh, I was in season six, but I, it wasn't. It wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't that fun because <laughs> um, I was in like best of three, and I just didn't like best of three. But now I'm in best of one. Anyway, we'll talk about that at a different a different time. And uh, yeah, I I think the MVP of this season was definitely. Alone Marowak, it, it really for for the point value it had, it was it was just massive. Tier three. Um I think it's like twelve points normally, so that's for the amount of kills he got, that was really amazing. I also loved uh, Greninja. I'm really comfortable with Greninja. Um Finny, I probably should use the Iron Defense Calm Mind Draining Kiss set more uh, with stored power, but I just didn't even know that was a thing until like honestly two hours ago. <laughs> so uh that's something to keep in mind. Um I only used Passimian like twice. I only used Manectric like twice. Miltank was good. So, I don't know. Overall, I mean, I, I think my team is just definitely just weird looking. Um, but that's usually what I do well with. Um, we're going to we're gonna try to mix it up next season though. See what we can do. So, anyway, that's going to be that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.